Welcome back. It is 643 with the stay at home order set to expire tomorrow, and it's going to be replaced with the safer at home order. We're oh, yeah. breaking down what those differences are and how it impacts all of us here in North Alabama. Absolutely. And joining us right now over the phone is Mayor Larry Chesser of Fort Payne. Mr. Mayor, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Yes, sir. So, like so many areas where small businesses have been struggling, Fort Payne, of course, no exception. So, first of all, Mr. Mayor, what's your first impression of the governor's new safer at home order and its impact on the people in your area there? Well, there's just really basically two changes on that order. Uh, one is the, the retail stores begin opening back up, and the other one is to do elective surgery at the hospitals. The stay-at-home order, in my opinion, wasn't that effective in the first place because there were so many exemptions to it that uh, it was almost voluntary. Uh, the closing of the stores downtown, all we did was close little small pop and mama stores and send everybody to Walmart, and that uh, didn't seem exactly <laughs> practical to me. Uh, but uh, opening the uh, small stores downtown is, is a beginning, and uh, I think I know the, the, those stores were, were hurting, uh, so that'll, that'll help them. I, I don't think the traffic is bad enough that uh, it's going to be that big a problem. Uh, we only had a couple of uh, department stores that uh, were large enough that really would have caused any problem in the first place, but. Uh, uh, it's a step in the right direction. We have been very uh, blessed in this area in that we haven't had that many cases. I think Fort Payne has had 11 cases, uh, non hospitalized, uh, no, no deaths. Uh, I think the Cap County has had 99 cases and three deaths uh, uh, based on the last results I've seen. So we, are, we in Fort Payne are considered blessed. All right, Mayor Chester, you, you mentioned the mom and pop shops. Those small businesses are the ones that really took the hardest hit. What do you tell those other businesses, your hair salons, mm -hmm. your barber shops, other businesses that are not able to reopen tomorrow evening? Well, I think it just makes sense to me that your contact type businesses uh, need to take it a little easy for a couple of weeks anyway to see what the trend goes. I don't think that we are. We're really on a downward trend uh, in in the Cap County, especially. Uh, I think that we need to to take things a little easy. I think most of those businesses will uh, will go along with it without much problem. Most of them have. We've had uh, one or two uh, uh, exercise gyms that complained somewhat, but uh, other than that, everybody's been very cooperative with that, and I think that. Uh, it's kind of like the governor said yesterday, the, the ladies' hair salons are considered essential to most people. Uh, we can make do with it without it for a couple more weeks anyway. And what, we know Fort Payne is a big tourism draw there, so how are you thinking that this new order is going to impact that? Well, I don't think it's going to change a whole okay. lot. Uh, I think tourism nationwide is, is practically dead at this time. Mm. Uh, I stopped by the Hampton Inn uh, the other day just to see how business was. And I said, how many people you got staying with today? And they said, none. Mm. I said, how many did you have yesterday? One. I mean, you know, it, it's pretty well dead. People are just not traveling in, in that regard. They may be traveling to visit family or what have you, but as far as uh, doing uh, any vacation sightseeing, it's not, it's not happening around here. Uh, I don't think this will, will have much effect on us. Uh, I don't know what the other states do and what effect they'll have, but uh, I, don't, I don't see much effect on it here. Trying to keep the faith, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much for joining us from out there in Fort Payne. The Mayor, Larry Chesser, joining us on Way 31 Morning News. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. All right, thank you. It is 648 on your Wednesday morning.